hello friends welcome to my channel today we will be discussing how to calculate discharge or fluoride through a pipe and uh, this discharge is the volume rate of water water flow which is being transported through any particular cross section so here we are choosing uh, fluoride here we are going to calculate fluoride through a pipe so obviously as you all know pipe has got a uh, cross section uh, if you take any cross section uh, between these pipes it will be a circle so uh, discharge will be discharge is nothing it's just a flow rate per second uh, or else you can say also i mean is the water flow that is being transported through this pipe uh, through a particular cross section so now we will learn how to calculate discharge through this pipe so please do look at this uh, drawing wherein you will notice a pipe and uh, you can see the water flow directions also oh, this is the water in and this is the water out so this water is going through this pipe and uh, the cross section of this pipe uh, it will be a circle if you uh, if you take a, cro a cro cross sectional uh, cross section at any section of this pipe it will be a circle only so now we will discuss how the we will calculate the discharge or flow rate through this pipe and uh, the formula for calculating discharge through this pipe will be area into velocity that is your area will be in meter square and velocity in meter per second and the unit of your discharge that is flow rate per second will be meter cube per second now please do have a look at this data which we are giving let's assume uh, velocity is 3 meter per second and uh, area of a uh, area of this cross section will be calculated by using the formula pi r square wherein r is the radi radius of the pipe and uh, pi the value of pi will be 3.142 and uh, the unit of discharge is meter cube per second because it's flow rate per second and the unit of velocity will be meter per second so and uh, here we are assuming velocity as 3 meter per second so the formula for calculating discharge will be area into velocity and your area you can calculate by using the formula which is pi r square so as i said and uh, the diameter we are choosing here as 0.2 meter so in order to get the radius you will have to divide that by 2 half, half the value of the diameter so your radius will be 0.1 meter so now you substitute all these values in this formula that is first you will have to calculate this area which will be pi r square that is 3.142 which is the value of pi and that you will have to multiply it with radius square and you are, here your radius is 0.1 meter so you will have to uh, multiply 0.1 into 0.1 that is 3.142 into 0.1 into 0.1 and now we are choosing velocity as 3 meter per second so you'll have to substitute the same here also 3 meter per second and uh, see, this velocity 3 meter per second see per second uh, this water flow will be um, for 3 meter so here velocity is 3 meter per second so for per second water flow through this pipe it will uh, it will um, pass through 3 meter okay so now our intention is to calculate discharge so after substituting all this value that is discharge um, you will have to put it in, in this formula that is uh, discharge is 3.142 area into velocity that is 3.142 your value of pi and 0.1 is the radius so you substitute it over here that is 0.1 into 0.1 and again you have to multiply it by 3 so the value which you will be arriving at that will be the, your discharge that is flow rate per second okay so and the unit of this discharge will be meter cube per second so friends that's all that's it for today so hope you might have enjoyed this video and if you find it useful please do like and share please do like it share and subscribe my channel uh, thanks for watching this video.